What up, it's Chris Drew from Never Shout Never, and uh, hanging out, talking about some tattoos. Well, I guess just seeing them on other people, I thought it was really cool and a nice way to express yourself. Um, and kind of show who you are. Well, for a while I was kind of a mutt. And I just kind of jumped around to different studios, but I have my buddy Craig Beasley uh, pretty much tie all my stuff together and work it into a real piece. My first tattoo is uh, Faith in Hebrew, and it's on my wrist. And uh, I got it in a trailer park when I was 16 because I was 16 and I couldn't go to the shop, you know? So my parents weren't into it. So I broke the, broke the rules and went for it. I love Oriental art and I also love tribal. I mean, tribal's got kind of a bad rap, but really it's like, there's some really amazing uh, tribal patterns that are pretty psychedelic and cool. So I, uh, I kind of just tried to do a mix of everything, even tried to tie in some traditional stuff as well. And uh, it's, been, it's been fun, you know? I've just kind of been trying to get the best of all worlds, you know, with the tattoos. There for a while, I was getting tattooed almost, you know, seemed like every week, you know? I'd be wanting to hit a new spot, so. And most of the time, I'd have a couple drinks, too, so who knows if, like, who knows where I got tattooed or who tattooed me. It's just been, uh, it was kind of a mess there for a couple years, but it, it, you know, I had my buddy piece it all together, so it, it worked out. Well, I, at this point, I've just been uh, working on getting two removed. I uh, had two face tattoos that I wanted off my face, so I've been working on that. And then my next tattoo idea, I'm gonna do something on my back, which is completely clean slate. And I'm not 100% sure what it's gonna be yet. I either want it to be like some kind of like portrait or some kind of like really intense uh, like painting or something. Or I just want it to be like a word across my back. So I'm kind of still figuring that out, but you know. It's, uh, it's good to just have patience and take your time with tattoos. When I first started getting tattoos, it was definitely a lot more frowned upon than it is now, I mean. When I was getting tattooed, I felt like a freak, you know? Like whenever I, especially like, especially the neck tattoo and everything, everybody was kind of tripped out a little bit. But it seems like even in the last couple of years, like people have kind of like lightened up a bit and now it's like not that big of a deal and people are like down with them almost. So, I mean, I think it's cool. I think people are starting to realize that it's a way to express yourself. And if you get something that means a lot to you, then it's, then it's cool, you know, I mean, as long as you don't get something that you're gonna regret. I would say if you're gonna get tattooed, realize that you're investing in something that's gonna be a part of you for the rest of your life. And you wanna make sure that you have an artist that you trust and you wanna make sure that you have something that really means a lot to you and is something that's gonna really, um, I guess, that you're gonna dig for the rest of your life, you know, so. I've been through that where I like got a couple things removed where it just wasn't as, wasn't my vibe these days, you know? Yeah, I mean, whenever, uh, whenever you've got a bunch of tattoos, people, uh, you know, there's a, there's a generation gap or something where people kind of make you feel like you're some sort of freak, you know? And so I just kind of like wear hoodies a lot. If I'm like traveling or whatever, because then, then people don't really mind if you know you got a little bird popping out of your hoodie, you know. I think it's I think it's really sweet whenever I see like lyrics or um, sometimes I've seen like our album art or our logo tattooed, and I think that that's I think that's really sweet. I mean, it's inspiring to me, and it makes me feel like wow, I'm actually I'm impacting people's lives and it gives me the motivation to keep being positive and try to do more good, you know, and, um, you know, a lot of responsibility. <laughs> so I got these, uh, I got two eyeballs on my wrists, on the top of my wrists, and, uh, and above them is uh, Blind Truth, 
uh, blind truth, and it means it's. I got them whenever I started meditating, and I realized that there was truth in in darkness and closing your eyes and turning off the world and turning off your brain and moving into your heart and that's whenever I realized that like love is like a more is more than just a relationship thing and I got these to always keep me reminded that to meditate and to realize that there's truth within. All right, so it's been good talking about tats and uh, check out our new record, Black Cat. I'm gonna get the Black Cat uh, album art tattooed on my butt, I think, at some point, so check, stay tuned for that.